Oh no, where is he? SpongeBob? You out there, buddy? Oh, oh god, there he is. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh god, what is that? That is not Mermaid Man. <laughs> what is it? That That's a hamburger. It kind of looks like a basketball to me. Basketball confirmed. Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui 101. And welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh god. Who is that? That's not Mermaid Man. That's is that like Joe White doing Mermaid Man. Um, as a matter of fact, actually, yes, that is Joe White. Oh my god, of course it's Joe White. Is he just going to be doing the entire cast of Spongebob so, in this game? Similar to Clancy Brown, uh, they were unable to obtain Ernest Borgnine to do the voice of Mario Man for this game. So they replaced him with Joe White. Of course. Because Joe White's just their go-to whenever they need someone. <laughs> just, like, take a listen to him here. Sounds nothing like Mermaid Man. Massaging my feet. Massaging my feet. Oh my god. At the very least, like, he's not doing a bad Mermaid Man impression. Like, it's just a generic old man voice. <laughs> yeah, so I guess in that sense, it is like, it's less offensive than his, uh, yeah. his Mr. Krabs. It, it doesn't Patrick's make me not hitting himself. Yeah. Why didn't they had made that? Yeah, right? So, like, I don't know, it's less offensive, but it's also worse. Yeah, it's bad in a different way. My toenails! <laughs> so bad, oh my god. Because tie blown in the wind. Uh, yeah, that literally sounds nothing like Mermaid Man. I, looks, Joe White Man. Looks nothing like him either. He's a fucking Wait, what? circle. What? You can go behind the gate? Why can you do that? It's kind of <laughs> cool, I kind of like that, but... Yeah, I, I like it, I wouldn't change it. But why? I don't know. Oh, look at that imposter! Don't, don't come near me! You'll <laughs> right. find out who I really am! So we have to actually be very careful opening up all the teleport boxes. As we found out the hard way, um, teleport boxes, you have to open both of them to work in this version, as opposed to the original game, where you just open the second one and the first one automatically open, which I actually like that more. But, yeah. Uh, this here is a new mechanic being introduced to us. This is the slide. Oh, the slide. Oh, thanks for spoiling who the third character is. Oh, jeez. Uh, basically, when you touch it, this awesome music plays. I love this music. And, uh, I love the tongue. Yes, yeah, SpongeBob will tongue board down. So basically, you're stuck with a constant forward momentum. Uh, you break everything you touch. Oh, DVA go on this little side passage oh here. Yeah. These are a lot of fun. They tend to have branching paths with socks hidden on them. So you will often have to replay the slides multiple times. Mm -hmm. And here's a big change they made from the original uh, physics. You, you have to hold forwards to make that jump. Oh, yeah. In the original version, uh, your momentum would just be enough that you could do that by just jumping. But um, as I also found out the hard way, you do need to hold forwards there or else it doesn't actually work. Hello, Jelly. Don't kill that Jelly. I won't. Oh my God. I won't. <laughs> um, so yeah, in case it wasn't clear, we've played this before. Uh, we actually played like the next hour of the game or... Go in there, SpongeBob. There we go. In the idiot box. We actually played like the first hour or so uh, after this and we didn't really like the way the commentary came out. Yeah. I felt like we could do it better. So here we are uh, restarting. I'm sorry for the immense delay on this episode. This is very late. Yeah. In general, they change the way the slide controls. I actually really like it. You have, like, a ton of control. It's just, oh, I don't yeah. like the lack of momentum after you jump. Mm -hmm. Like, with everything else in this, this remake, it's not really strictly better or worse. It's just different. Yeah. And I feel like they could have made this just strictly better. And that, that's disappointing. Wait, do we really need this? Do we need a tutorial to tell us what to do here? <laughs> Apparently so. I feel like this was self-explanatory. <laughs> hey, idiot, this is what you do. <laughs> I, I don't like how games do that these days. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically stay down here and just for us will keep on spawning, which you can use your grind shiny objects if you'd like. Oh yeah, that's true. I like this. I always love these parts where you're just like beating up enemies like a know. Why did, it, why did it clip into existence? Yeah, why is there like no animation? They don't have an animation. They're just like, hey, bitch, I'm here. And uh, something else I want to show off here. So you notice it stopped at the super monster combo. Yeah. In this version of the game, that is the highest your combo counter can go, as opposed to the original where you get up to super ultra mega monster combo. Oh, I love which that. means your shiny object multiplier is significantly less mm -hmm. than it was in the original version. That is coupled with the fact that in this version, grinding is slower because like suicide respawns have to make you sit through a loading screen. Oh my God. And Mr. Krabs asked for about three times the amount of shiny objects he originally did. Oh my God! Fucking Yikes! Greedy Joe White Krabs. I know. Like, geez, that is a really bad combination. 
I'm not gonna lie, that's like, honestly, yeah. really, really stupid design. Yeah, there already weren't enough shiny objects. I know, it's like, the original version of the game had a problem with the shiny objects were just a little too stingy. Yeah. Now we're coupled with the fact that grinding is slower due to both weaker combos and the fact that death involves a loading screen. Oh my god. So why would they make it take more shiny objects on to present the game? I feel like they should have lowered the amount. I know. That's just like bad playtesting. They didn't balance that at all. Yeah, you or know? at least just put more in. Oh, here's something else. Oh, uh, you may notice that I killed two robots at once. In the original version of the game, that would have counted as a combo, because combos were based on the amount of shiny objects per breakable object. Mm -hmm. um, in this version, it's based on the amount of objects broken. You need to break at least three things in order to get a combo in this version. What? Whereas the original, you could break two things if they had higher shiny object values. <sighs> Again, just like these uh, kind of dumb changes that don't really need to be there. So unnecessary. I know. Uh, please, Purple Lamp. I, I really hope. This game's been out for almost a month now, unfortunately, because we haven't been able to record much. Please, I hope you're gonna release another patch one day. This, I, I really don't want this to be the final version of Rehydrated. Was there just the first day patch and- That was it. Okay. Yeah. Patrick looked like he was safe to me. He was kind of out here where the was gonna get him. Yeah, right? Well, he couldn't get down, I guess. Well, he thinks he was safe too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is. It's a golden spatula, Patrick. I like how he like did a little shrug there. <laughs> People order our patties. <laughs> you know, poop. And uh, just like that, we get to play as Patrick. Oh, cool. Although Patrick was always my least favorite to play as. Yeah, I agree. In the original version of the game, Patrick was my least favorite um, because I found his maneuverability to be the weakest. Uh, mm -hmm. There's some changes to the mage up here, which we'll go over shortly. But uh, Patrick has one massive gimmick that they do a lot with, honestly. In fact, yeah. I think the entire rest of the video is going to be this gimmick. <laughs> and that is the throw fruit. It's not just a watermelon? <laughs> no, uh, this fruit specifically for throwing. Okay. Um, so Patrick can pick it up. And uh, you can throw it just like that, see? Yeah. Bam. And it regrows out of the, uh, I guess, little cabbage patch. Just splattered onto the water. That must be really hard water. <laughs> so you can use it to hit switch to that distance, and then just awkwardly falls out physics in this version, unlike the original where it, like, you know, had momentum. Yeah. And when it flashes white, it starts to wilt. And it's a very minor change, but for the old version, how it, like, turned darker colors, I felt like they made more sense for wilting. It, yeah, it looked like it was rotting away. I liked that. So, uh, as you can then gather, Patrick can have a lot of puzzles involved around, like, picking things up, throwing things, stuff like that. Negated by one thing. Patrick can attack in the air now, oh, which he yeah. could not do in the original. And at first, I really liked that change. That was my, my least favorite thing about Patrick was he was useless in the air. Then it occurred to me that defeats the purpose of his puzzles. Because he could just do that. Yeah, so like in the that's. Air. I'm gonna try to do the puzzle the way they're like supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. But I, it's just a very questionable change. I get they were going for. Well, did they program it so that he actually like has a hitbox? Um, when, you know, I actually haven't tested that. Maybe they were smart and like you still need to use the watermelon to hit those. Yeah, but then at the same time, it feels like well, I should be able to do that. I know, so. I, just a weird change, you know? Do you see that cowboy? Oh, thing? wow, look at that it's cowboy like running on down the Look at that cowboy gate. <laughs> so this is telling you can uh, use tiki's as weapons too, but you have to pick up a tiki without anything on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have like a little reticule and uh, whatever you throw will kind of home on the yeah, reticule. Yeah. Um, it was a hand in the original, which I kind of liked a little more, but that's super minor. And oh, oh yeah, why'd they change that? Reticule. I liked that hand. Okay, there wasn't a reticule that time. Just do it yourself. <laughs> I didn't want to take the rest to go any like farther far. I don't want to throw a loading screen. Yeah. Oh man, now that you mention that, it's like I missed the hand. I know, the hand was a nice touch. Look at this fucking cowboy Joe here. <laughs> Just Just jellyfish like, is gonna say. Howdy partner. Howdy partner. I gotta go find Sandy. She's my, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> Just hit that. And he's like, uh. I got the hots for Sandy partner. <laughs> you tell me what it would do to win over her heart. I got a secret, I'm not actually Southern. I'm just doing it to impress Sandy. I like his like green bow tie that- Oh, oh my god! This jellyfish snuck up on me. I love his like green bow tie that like matches his mustache. I know, what a guy. <laughs> so this here is the bus stop. Uh, this is how you switch between characters. So in every level you can play a SpongeBob and one of the two secondary characters, either Patrick or Sandy. Mm -hmm. um, they do alternate with one exception. So in this level you're Patrick, the next level you're Sandy and so on. And uh, there is a glitch you can do to get the characters into the wrong areas in this mm -hmm. version, which I may show off at some point, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just telling me that you can, like, uh, pick up the throw fruit again after, like, you've thrown it, which is important because there are going to be parts in the game where you need to throw it upstairs because you can't jump while holding it. Mm -hmm. How many of these do I I'm kind of mixed on the fact that there's now, like, a reticule for it to land on the ground in certain places. I feel like that kind of, first, that makes the puzzle too easy if it wasn't clear to you. You needed to, yeah. like, throw it up higher initially. And second, it kind of removes the aiming? Yeah. It's, like, it's not a bad change, but just kind of one I didn't think was necessary. Like, do you really need that? And this is the special... This is a special Patrick Teeter Totter. <laughs> this only one's, Patrick. Can this use... one's special, not the other ones. Oh, this is only this one. Okay. 
So you put Patrick on the starfish side, and then you throw the watermelon at the target side. Conveniently labeled for Patrick. That's why it's a special one. He's dumb. Although when I was a kid, I used to try to put uh, the watermelon on the Patrick side and Grandpa on the other side to hope it would like launch the watermelon. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't do that, sadly. Aww. Here, this is our formal introduction to this tiki that we saw in the hub. Oh yeah. As I'll explain here. This is a thunder tiki. Um, after you touch it, a countdown will begin. This one goes boom. Where it starts getting angry like that, and mm. after a few seconds it explodes, and actually does have a hitbox, you gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, similarly, if you attack it, it'll just instantly explode in your face. Oh my god. Look at this tool! Oh look, it's Scooter. Look at this fucking tool! He's listening to <laughs> just just jam it out. It looked like he was gonna walk off the edge there. <laughs> oh my- Ah, don't do that to him! <laughs> um, and this is only you can actually throw the Thunder Tiki, which is kind of a nice touch. So you can use this kind of like a remote bomb. Oh, yeah. Just gotta be careful, because it'll still blow up as you pick it up. Wait. Can you... Oh, I was trying to throw it over there, but the reticule was aiming towards the one next to me. Oh. I don't know why it wasn't aiming in front of me. Darn. I wish you could jump on the flower with the Thunder Tiki. Honestly, I just wish that there was a way to, like, uh, like, change what it's aiming at me with, like, the right analog or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I'd, or maybe, like, hit one of the shoulder buttons to, like, toggle. Yeah. Just, that's something that frustrates me in the original version, too, is that there's no way to really aim. If the game is pointing at something you don't want to throw it at, you have no other option. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's a thunder tiki on a timer, you can't, like, walk around to change it. That sucks. Hey, <laughs> so angry. <laughs> Look how pissed he is. Look at his eyes. <laughs> it's a rock. I love how animated these are. Yeah. It's a lummox. An idiot. Oh. Are you going to vaporize me today? <laughs> he wants to be vaporized. I feel like he was supposed to be worried, but it did kind of sound like like he was excited. Yeah. Hey, I won't judge Patrick. Okay, to each their own, you know? <laughs> I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my oh my god, Patrick, you're such a gem. <laughs> Heed my words, my large future minion. You can't just call him fat. <laughs> Don't fat shame Patrick. I don't think Patrick cares though, honestly. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. I love this writing. Why does he hate? Oh my God, he's still up with the vaporizing. He's still up on his vaporizing fetish. Making low quality design and knock off wallets. Oh, thank you. Why does Plankton hate uh, Patrick so much in this game? Does he normally hate him that much in the show? I mean. <laughs> Picture Plankton for a second. Don't you think Patrick's kind of got a gun on his nerves? Yeah, I guess that's true. So, uh, somewhere to SpongeBob, Patrick can ground pound. And here's actually an interesting change in this game. So, if you double jump, you do the belly flop like in the original. Mm -hmm. But if you single jump, he does like a more Mario style ground pound. I Kind of cool. I don't yeah. really have a strong opinion either way. It's cute they did that. Ooh, scary dark cave. Ooh, scary dark cave. Best voice line in the whole game. I know. I love that is that. my favorite clip from this game. Oh, God, watch out for the. Uh, underwater volcanic rocks here. The scary dark cave looks really pretty. I know, it's a very pretty dark cave. Yeah. Ooh, look at that jelly. I won't hurt it, don't What's worry. What's he doing in here? Um, he lives in a cave. He's a cave jelly. It's a subspecies. Yo, don't throw that at him, be careful. I won't. Katie, the jelly will be fine. Okay, I'm I just making sure. You, no harm will come to the jelly. Good. I, I want you to be able to say at the end of this Let's Play that no jellies were harmed in the making of this Let's Play. I love that uh, someone asked in a Q&A once if you were vegan because you must do a no-kill-the-crab run for Scooby-Doo Night. <laughs> <laughs> Did they actually? That's hilarious. Yeah. No, I just like crabs. I mean, I, I eat crabs. I don't, actually. I don't eat animals that have to get boiled alive. I know, I do feel bad about that. Um, so anyway, back, back to the game for a second here. Uh, you can throw the throw fruit twice. After hitting a button, you can throw it again, which is necessary right here. Mm -hmm. This entire level is just, like, building upon this one mechanic, and I love, like, how far they go with it. Yeah. Like, you keep thinking, all right, that's all you can do with the watermelon. It's like, no, here's a new twist you can have with it. That's just so clever. Yeah, there's so much you can do with it. Yeah. So, like, I like the air attack with things like that. Mm hmm I don't know, maybe they should have specified in, like, one of the tutorials for this remake that, like, he can't hit switches with his air attack or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, is it worth trying to get those tiki's out there? As long as you don't hurt that jelly. I won't. Katie. Oh, jeez. No! Oh, oh jeez. Oh! I didn't know they rolled like that. Uh, they do roll. They do have physics, except for after they hit switches in this yeah, version only. Yeah, when they just gracefully tumble to the ground. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. No! I'm just gonna say it's not worth it. The jelly's like... laughing at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he, like, shoots out his lightning in <laughs> mockery. Jump over those Yoshi's Island pencils. I... They do look like the pencils from Yoshi's Island. The instant death pencils. Yeah, oh, fuck Whoa. those things. I really want to play that game again. You say that, because you weren't the one doing the perfect score run. Yeah, I know. You're probably still, like, over it. Uh, they actually want you to use the watermelon there to hit the Thunder Tiki. I it's just easier to do that. Yeah, that's true. Super monster combo. No, I love Yoshi's Island, but, like, after that perfect score run, like, three years ago... 
are you still uh, you still don't want to play Luigi's Mansion either for that same reason? <laughs> okay, the difference is your son was designed to be a perfect score. It's just brutally difficult. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion was not designed for that. That no. was just making it too hard for myself. No. Patrick, pull up your pants. <laughs> this is a pressure plate. You stand on it. Something happens. You get off. It gets undone. Zelda puzzle. Yep, but you can use the water on its way down. But you have to be careful because they wilt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't play that da -da noise I went through. Oh, it's why not? It's kind of disappointing. Huh, all right. Oh, I know why not, because you're still sealed in here. Oh, are you just trapped in here now? Unlike unlike the original where that would, those would stay down because it played the <laughs> da da sound. Oh, Patrick could totally fit through that. Yeah. Whatever. Um, now, this is actually telling us, I think, uh, just like more creative uses of the throw here. Mm -hmm. You can actually stand on the watermelon. I see a sock up there. To use it as a platform. Yeah, there is a sock up there, which we won't be missing, don't worry. <laughs> so, like, you think you're out of things too. No, you can stand on the watermelon. Yeah. It's the sock. That's, that's so creative. It's a little higher up. Yeah, there it is. Um, can I get it from here? That was actually on a ledge there, so that's interesting they changed that. Really? Huh. Similarly, you can throw a watermelon on top of another watermelon to stack two together. Mm hmm And you can actually throw them without having, like, the cabbage under them, too. So, like, stack two, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I feel like it made it a little too easy by having the ready tool there for it to put on the ground. Mm-hmm. All right, time for the slide with Patrick. Oh, cool. So he oh, butt boards. He's just on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. Do the grouchy Squidward. <laughs> Everybody's Stop an idiot. moves after me. Everybody's an idiot except for me. Now, here's a change oh, I don't like. You hit the tiki, and you, know, so you don't have enough hit stun to hit the other one. Oh. I took damage from both of those. In the yeah. original, you could just kind of blast through a few because your hit stun was long enough that like, it didn't uh, hurt you. Mm. It looks cold down here. Are there people in this cave? What are they doing down here? What the hell? Okay, he just looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> he just saw, like, his friend got vaporized. He's like, Plankton vaporized my friend today. And now I, I, I cannot see it. And Pat Patrick's like, oh my god. This guy's depression. I put him out of misery. Yeah. Bomb. Oh god, okay. Uh, that was somebody else. Oh, there he is. This little kid here. Yeah. Unibrow Oh kid. my god. I think he's the one who did the vapor. I don't... I don't trust him as wobbly head. No, this guy's an asshole. I don't like him. Push him into the freezing water. Uh, so this here is called the Freezy Fruit, or I was just call it the Ice Block. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I might call this one Freezy Fruit. That has a nice ring to it. Freezy Pop Fruit. So you throw into water, and the entire body of water will freeze solid, but it's on a time limit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. The entire body of water will freeze on a time limit. Yeah. And uh, you have to use it to try to get stuff on it. And this is actually kind of disappointing. They both shorten the timer. And greatly decrease Patrick's run speed on the ice. Oof. So it's very difficult to get that and survive. Only the original where it was very easy to get that. Yeah. Ooh. Like, that's cutting it so close. Wow, you have barely just enough time to I don't to know do why that. they slowed you down. I feel like the faster made sense because it was slippery. Mm -hmm. So if you do the uh, ground pound near the robots, like small robots, it actually insta kills them without touching it, just from the shock wave of it. Patrick is so big. I know, like, bam. See that? Oh, damn. That's wow. actually really. I wonder if the, like, the single one does. Uh. Oh, it does? Okay, yeah, so yeah. I guess it is just an aesthetic difference. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'll take it. That's kind of cool, honestly. Yeah. I kind of like just like the little touch of having like two unique animations for that. Kind of like how Mario Odyssey had like three different long jump animations. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, he had the Galaxy one, the 64 one, and the 3D World one. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. Same thing with the triple jump, I think. Something yeah. like that. It's been such a long time since I played Odyssey. This here is telling you that you can use the throw fruit to defeat robots. Um, I don't think I've ever done this once in this game. Really? I feel it's, like that'd be funny. It's too slow. It's just like too slow paced. Yeah. yeah it's just not worth the uh, hassle to me. Mm -hmm. You're having to pick up the watermelon. They make the uh, the robot machine catch on fire too. Now when you smash it. It's kind of a nice touch. I like that. Yeah. And this here is now the final thing you can do. There's more to do with throwing if you can believe it. <laughs> you can actually use the ground pound to stun large robots. And once large robots are stunned... You can pick them up and use them as projectiles, too. That's amazing. You just know. Like, throw bam, the enemy at it. Defeat them with their fallen brother in. And then, that's it. Oh, my God. Patrick. Oh, Patrick, are you okay? Patrick's like, it's okay. It's only third degree burn. Oh, my God. Poor guy. Oh, let's see if I can get back without them hitting me off the edge. <laughs> and then with that, I think that's the end of uh, this video. That's pretty much all I want to show off. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Do you think I can do can it? Can you go over that? Oh my Why? god. Why? Why is this an option? How far can you go? Oh, I was hoping you'd be able to go out there. Why is it just a void here? I feel like in the original, this is... Maybe I'll look at a picture of it, but I feel like in the original version of the game, there was like... You can actually see outside the cave there? Really? Huh. Why did they make that a purple void? Patrick's happy about it. He looks kind of evil. <laughs> it looks like an album cover. Like the emptiness <laughs> inside. The emptiness in Patrick's soul. <laughs> but uh, with that, uh, thank you all for watching. Did he just oh, lick his armpit? Gross.
Oh, it tasted bad. <laughs> this has been Fabulous Fish. And Catatouille 101. And we'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.